What's up, everybody? Welcome to the locker room here at Exploria Stadium. A couple of backline reinforcements for Orlando City over the holiday break. Antonio Carlos from Brazil, Rodrigo Schlegel from Argentina joining the Lions roster. Let's break it all down. Evan Weston, Jenny Chu, Miguel Gallardo from the Orlando City broadcast team. We'll start with Antonio Carlos. This looks like a pretty major signing for Orlando City against their back line. This is a guy that comes from Palmeiras, a, a reigning champion in Brazil, who was a big part of their championship team in 2018. A, a, a massive club uh, from a massive soccer country that now comes to Orlando City. What do you guys see from him on tape that makes you think he's a good fit with the Lions? Some great tackles, great timing. I really like his timing on those tackles. He has a lot of headed goals in his highlight tape, and that's something that we need, set-piece goals, and we love that here in Orlando City. Um, and I think that more than anything, he has a high soccer IQ. You can tell by his positioning that he's always ahead of the play, it seems yeah. like. No, I agree, and when you look at somebody that's 26 years old and already has over 150 professional games under his belt, that's a huge deal, and those games include experience with the u 20s Brazilian national team, as well as Copa Libertadores. We all know that that's a big tournament, and that brings a ton of value to his, to his play. You mentioned him scoring goals. Nowadays, you look at the goals that are scored, big percentage of those goals are scored in set pieces. So when you have a guy that's young, that's got a good physicality, but also has a lot of conviction to get on the end of things offensively and defensively, that brings a ton of value. He's got great skills, he's calm on the ball. He, I think he's a great addition to an already solid back line that much improved from last year. I do want to say, Miguel Borja spoke to our scouting staff and said, and he played against him in Palmeiras all the time in training, and he was saying, Great defender, very quick, very hard to get against him. And as you know, someone like Miguel Borja saying that means something. Yeah, Miguel Borja, uh, arguably the number one striker in the pool for Colombia right now. Uh, so that's certainly a ringing endorsement. I'll take, I'll take, I'll take his credit. I'll take what he said. I'll take his word. Let's move on, Rodrigo Schlegel. Uh, this is more of a project signing for Orlando City, but it's a really young player coming from a big club in Argentina on loan, getting some game time abroad. What do you see from him? Well. 22 years old, coming from, like you say, the champion in Argentina, Racing de Avellaneda. That's a big club as well. Not many games under his belt, but it's understandable relatively because he comes from a championship team. It's really hard to break into the lineup for that team. But the games that he does have, they're games with a ton of pressure because the stadium is always packed over there. He actually played Copa Sudamericana as well against Corinthians. So that brings a ton of experience for him. But I see great characteristics on him. He's very good on the ball with both feet. That's super important. He's got great awareness when he tries to play out of the back. That's important for Oscar Pareja. He's not afraid to be uncomfortable when he has to leave his pocket to go cover for players, for fullbacks that go forward. I really like that about him. So I think he's a great addition to this team as well. The scouting staff has had their eye on him for a while. They tried to bring him in last summer's transfer window. We're unable to do that, but so they're thrilled to have him this time around. And I think that the biggest thing is what Miguel says. It's good business. It's a low risk, high yeah. reward situation. And you know what I like about both of them the most though, is that they both come from winning clubs and big clubs. And that experience is only gonna be uh, adding to, to, their, to their play. It's not easy playing for experienced clubs and teams that are used to winning. So their mentality, their culture is going to impact the team immediately in preseason. When they come into preseason, they know what it takes to win. They know uh, the attitude that you need to have, and they're going to bring it and demand it. And that's contagious to the rest of the squad it's that infectious. can only benefit the team. Yeah, it's, it's a new era here at Orlando City, for sure, under Oscar Pereja. And I get the feeling there is more to come as well as we get closer and closer to preseason. So stick with Orlando City on social media and at orlandocitysc.com. And as things happen, we'll keep you posted.